First example, it says find the coefficient of the x cubed y to the fifth term in the expansion of 2x minus 3y to the eighth power. Now you can imagine if we were to write this eight times and have to multiply it all out and combine like terms, that would take quite a bit of time, right? So that's where the binomial expansion theorem comes in. And specifically, we're going to use that to find out just that one specific term and go ahead and find the number, okay, in front of that x cubed y to the fifth term. So first things first, let's review a couple things. First thing is Pascal's triangle. And you can see with Pascal's triangle that the uh, rows begin with one and they end with one. Okay, so the rows go like this, right? And then to get the term below, what you do is you add the two terms above. So see how one plus two adds up to three, two plus one adds up to three, or one and three adds up to four. Now, another way to get these terms, okay, is to use this combination formula. So out of n items, how many ways are there to choose r items? And the formula is n factorial over n minus r factorial, r factorial. And so, for example, if I'm down here on the fourth row, notice it starts at row zero, one, two, three, four. This number right here is actually four choose zero. So how many ways are to choose zero out of four? There's only one way to do that. And the same thing here, this is four choose one, four choose two, four choose three, all the way over here to four choose four. So it's always the row number, choose zero, all the way up through the row number, choose whatever row number you're on. So for example, say we wanted to expand a plus b to the third power. What we can do is we could say, well, let's go down here to the third row, and these are our coefficients, one, three, three, one. The other way to do it is to go like this. We could say three choose zero, three choose one, three choose two, three choose three. Then what you do is you take the first term, okay, here a, and you go to the third power and you go in descending order, a squared, a to the first, a to the zero. Then you take the second term, b, and you go in ascending order. So b to the zero, b to the first, b to the second, and b to the third. And then these terms are all added together and you can go ahead and simplify and those are gonna be the terms in the expansion of a plus b to the third power. Now I want you to notice a pattern here that will be very helpful. See how we're on the third uh, power, we're also on the third row here. See this three choose zero. Notice how this second term, see the b, b to the zero power, and see how this is three choose zero. See how these guys match? Same thing over here, see three choose one, b to the first power, see one and one. The other thing I want you to notice too is that, see how three plus zero adds up to three. That's the power here, that's also the row, okay? Two plus one is three, one plus two is three. So if you recognize that pattern, you can use that to find a specific term in this expansion. So I'll show you over here. So for example, two x minus three y to the eight, we can see that our two terms are two x, and negative 3y. Now I'm capturing this minus as a negative 3y. And then we want this to be x cubed, so I'm gonna make this to the third power. I'm gonna make this to the fifth power to give us y to the fifth. Now notice we're on the eighth power, so that's the eighth row. If we were to expand this down, uh, Pascal's triangle, this is gonna be eight choose, what do you think goes here? Well remember the pattern, see zero, zero, one, one, two, two, and so on. So if this is five, this is going to be five as well. So now all we have to do is we're gonna use the formula over here for combinations, okay, so eight choose five, that's eight factorial over eight minus five, three factorial times five factorial. And then we've got two x cubed, which is two cubed is eight, okay, negative three to the fifth is negative 243, y to the fifth. Now all we have to do now is simplify all the numbers, and that's gonna be our coefficient in front of the x cubed y to the fifth term. So eight factorial is really like eight times seven times six times five, all the way down to one. Five factorial is five, four, three, two, multiplying all the way down to one. So you can see those are canceling. Three factorial is three times two times one, which is six. So you can see those are canceling. So now you can see we have eight times seven, which is 56, times eight times negative 243. So let's go to the calculator here. We've got 56 times eight times negative 243. So that comes out to negative 108,000, negative 108,864 x cubed y to the fifth. Now if they just want that coefficient, you would just write down the negative 108,864. So we're gonna do another example, but I know a lot of students right now are preparing for the ACT and the SAT, especially the math section. So I just wanted to let you know about my two uh, math 
review courses. I've got a huge ACT math review video course and a huge uh, SAT math review video course. So check out those video courses. There's three free lessons uh, in each of those courses. So if you take those, you'll get a lot of benefit just from uh, going through those lessons and then you'll get an idea about what the other lessons are going to be like as well. And if you're interested, you can go on and purchase that and, and go through the rest of those. A lot of students have reported back that they've been able to boost their scores utilizing uh, those courses that I put together. So check them out. Otherwise, let's go to example number two. It says, find the coefficient of the x to the fourth y to the twelfth term in this expansion. Okay, so we're already a little bit more experienced now. So we say, hmm, x to the fourth y to the twelfth. Well, you can see these are our two terms right here, right, in our binomial. Bi means two, right? So 5x squared and negative 2y to the third. I want this to be x to the fourth. That means this has to be two because a power to power you multiply, that's going to give us the x to the fourth. This I want to be 4 because y cubed to the 4th power, 3 times 4 gives us 12. We're on the 6th row, 6th power, so this is going to be 6 choose. And remember the pattern. See how this is 3 choose 0, b to the 0, 3 choose 1, b to the 1. This is going to be 6 choose uh, 4. See how these match? Now all we have to do is simplify this out, and that's going to be the particular term that we're looking for. So let's do that. So 6 choose 4, if we use our binomial uh, I'm sorry, our combination formula right up there, we've got 6 factorial over 6 minus 4, 2 factorial times 4 factorial. 5 squared is 25, x to the 4th, negative 2 to the 4th is 16, y to the 12th. And let's simplify this, so 6 factorial is 6 times 5 times 4 all the way down to 1. 4 factorial is 4 all the way down to 1, so those are canceling. And then 2 factorial is just 2 times 1. So this is 30 over 2, which is 15 times 25 times 16 x to the fourth y to the twelfth. Now we're only interested in the coefficient so we just have to multiply those values out right there. So that's going to be 15 times 25 times 16. Uh, let's see that's 6,000. So our coefficient in this particular example is going to be 6,000. So I hope that helped you how to understand working with binomial expansion theorem a little bit better. I have another video that I can link to, to uh, if you want to do more problems with binomial expansion, but this is specifically focused on finding the coefficient. So I hope that helps you understand a lot better. Subscribe to the channel. Check out more math videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future math videos. I'll talk to you soon.